Hey guys, so it's weekend. I have these uh, very aged dials of our 930 Turbo. So I've decided to make a little bit of time before dinner and uh, get these things dismantled and restored. And let's see how they look afterwards. Generally, dismantling these dials is not a big deal. So what you've got to do, you've got to, you have to get behind the flaring on the dial ring. Uh, once the ring is off, then um, the glass comes off pretty quick and then it can be cleaned up on the inside. Uh, the housing can be worked over. Uh, we should be able to make these dials look like new ones. So here we're doing the ref meter. Uh, there's something inside that doesn't seem to be right, there's something loose and of course it is super filthy. I'm showing you how to open it and if you do that, you just go very carefully around here and open up the flaring of the yeah. ring that holds the glass now. If you do that, you can take your own sweet time. Don't rush this job, because it's either you're bending yeah. too far, or another option of damage would be that the glass breaks. So you want to be making sure that this doesn't happen. So, as you can see now, we are able to spin it already. So here it's coming off. You have to be very careful. Take off the ring. Your glass is right there. You have an actual ring inside the ring that holds the glass down. And then you have a carrier for the glass that protects the glass. So I'm very, very curious what makes that sounds inside in inside this unit. So I'm gonna open this up. Let's have a look inside. There, have a look. That's one of the bulbs dangling around. Interesting about this here, you can see. Turn this into place. The two outer bulbs are for the illumination for the dial. And the inner ones, this one would be for the high beam. And this one is for the indicator light right and indicator light left. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna give this a little cleaning job clean up the housing as well and then we can put this back together. So I have cleaned up the oil gauge. The oil gauge is in charge for the oil pressure as well as the oil temperature. It's quite pretty, isn't it? So there's no dust inside anymore. It literally looks like a new instrument. So I've put back the ring. So I turn it around and I show you how we're gonna mold this back in order to seal it back up. I use a, a blunt Allen key, nothing too sharp here. And then basically I take one corner and just bend one corner in shape 
And then I go one quarter, do the same on another quarter. So by now this ring is already fixed and doesn't spin anymore. I can now go ahead and press it all the way down back in shape. That's done so far. As you can see now, the edges may not be as perfect as if uh, the manufacturer is doing it. I think the dial looks perfect. It's absolutely sealed, it's not spinning. And uh, the dents that you may have caused in the back of the dial, uh, once you put over the grommet, that's used to, to mount the dial. So you basically can't see it anymore. So I would say that looks pretty and can be installed. The reason why I'm opening these dials is because they are very filthy inside. Uh, this one is the one we just, we just did. Uh, as a comparison, this is the speedometer, which has not been done yet. Now, the car is from 1977 and we are restoring the entire car. So it does make sense when we go into these details and uh, get it all cleaned out. If you want to do this at home, this is an old car and because the car is pretty old, the housings of these dials are made out of steel. Now if they're made out of steel, um, they take a little bit of pushing and pressing and all and it's not a big deal. Now if you have a 993 uh, air-cooled car, you may want to be a little bit uh, careful because the RPM meter, the rev meter for an example of the, of the 993 uh, has a housing that's made out of plastic. And because the plastic is pretty old, it may have started to crack already on the side. So the moment you start applying pressure with a screwdriver, you will actually uh, break off the little hump that holds the glass in place and then you would have to replace the housing of the gauge. Um, it is advisable to have a good look before you actually under, undertake this kind of project. Now we have put the dials back in place. Uh, of course they have to come back out for the leatherworks later on. But it's uh, quite a presentable appearance I would say. Uh, if you have enjoyed the video do please subscribe to our channel uh, for more videos to come. Thanks for watching.